the Honorable Kiaria. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. This is a bittersweet bye-bye uh, uh, to the honorable members who are leaving this house, but we are comforted knowing that they are actually being upwardly displaced. To the honorable uh, Wahome, uh, I know the blood of Bildad Kagia runs in her, in her veins, but I would want to implore on her to more emulate the honorable Wangari Madhai. There must be a reason why we are able to pipe oil all the way from Mombasa and this oil is able to be distributed around the entire country. We should be able to distribute water from the aquifers in, in Turkana, from the, from the water towers in the, Rift, in the Rift Valley and Central, to every part of Kenya. To the Honorable Dwale, you are amazing. You might be remembered for the great speeches in this house. You might be remembered for the great book you are just about to release, The Room Where It Happened. We are looking forward to hear the secrets in the high rooms where things were happening. You might be remembered as the first leader because even now they call you leader even when you are a ranking member. But I personally will remember you for one piece of advice. You say to me, even at the toughest time, even with all my duties, I have made sure that in my time in parliament, I always am home by the time when my children are doing homework. I took that up when I was a young member, and I made sure that regardless of whatever the politics is going to, uh, to throw at me every day, I am at home to do homework with my children. Thank you very much, Honorable uh, Speaker, for giving me this opportunity. I congratulate all members of parliament who have been nominated, and, and remember that this is the house that passed your nomination. Don't lock the doors on us. Thank you very much. Women.